Okay, we are moving the ewe lamb, the top ewe lamb, back to the shed so that tomorrow afternoon they can be pregnant and scan. I'll just control the dog now. Glenn here! Glenn here! Glenn here! Because he is just moving up through the sheep a bit rather than pushing it back. Glenn here! Glenn here! Glenn here, Glenn here, Glenn here. Good boy, walk on. Back of the bike, Glenn on the back of the bike. Big Glenn on the back. There he is. He doesn't really want to be here on the back of the bike. He'd rather be off with the sheep. We do muzzle all our dogs. I think it's good practice. They can't grip them, and probably more importantly, they can't fight among themselves if they have a mind to. Right guys, we're gonna go through, yeah, that looks good, yeah. Uh, let's go think, us guys right through the front, both of you through the front, go to the right. Go to the right. They're gonna have to get through to the front now. Come on, Glenn. Give the sheep a bit of a breather. We're just coming up to a crossroad here. So we'll need two people. We've got off the wrong directions. And I'll leave two people at the front in case any cars are coming. Going 
going over that bank. Nicholas, go to the right, go to the right. Oscar, go to the right. Shed. I'm just going to close the gate so they can't run back out of it. It's beginning to get relatively empty. We've done it in time. Just got to get him in the shed. Tomorrow we are scanning these ewe lambs and we'll find out which ones are pregnant and how many lambs they're going to give birth to. The ideal would be for everyone to have a single as they still need to grow themselves. However, some will not be pregnant and others will have two lambs, which either means careful management or removing a lamb and hand rearing it. Have a look at our new website if you're interested and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you would like to see more. Thank you for watching.